Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Mervyn Turner. Another successful show, a, a lot bigger show to what we had last time out of Mercy. Um, but it just doubled the excitement. It was, uh, a good, good show, Ben. Uh, nice to see you again. Yes. Yeah. Hope you're keeping well. No, it was a great show. Um, started out, I think the first one up was Craig Poxton. Yeah. That's uh, back from injury <clears throat> after his Southern Area title shot where he was very unlucky. Thought he'd done well tonight. Um, controlled it, kept the pace nice, got the win. So he's full of confidence and raring to go again. His hand didn't give up at all. So he's, no, he's still... his hand's fully fully recovered now. Seemed to be plagued with hand injuries at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> no, his, uh, his hand's fully recovered and, and you can see that tonight. It was really good. Um, mm. Sajid. Sajid a bit, yeah. Um, as Gatair, as trainer, um, come all the way down here. Um, Sage is a great kid. Second fight, I thought he looked you know, a million dollars. He was so comfortable in there. Um, tricky, tricky opponent. It's always tricky when, when someone doesn't actually open up. Yeah. You know, yeah. he wanted to cover up most of the time. Although he did, he did have his little flourish, but Sage had handled it well. He got really lovely angles. So good kid, promising kid. I think he'll go far. And back to Billy, um, unfortunately, sort of for loss last time. Yeah, but. Billy, listen, Billy did things wrong last time. Simple as that, it was nothing to do with with anything other than, than you know, a few personal problems. He struggled to make the weight, he did it in the wrong way, he weakened himself, and he was in with a tough kid, you know, and, and when you're a 10 and 0 fighter, you've got to be in with tough kids. So he's learned from that, and uh, came back with a vengeance tonight, he did everything right, he looked at, you know, Totally different fighter, you know, he, he was very, very strong at the weight, dominated the fight and, and uh, back on track. Um, with Billy, uh, he's obviously in with someone who, another one of the fighters from the show, Johan, fought last time out. It yep. goes to show how different a fighter Billy is, he's, he's a boxer, he's, he's got style. Billy's a, Billy's a stylish boxer, you know, um, we'll obviously talk about Joe in a minute, but no, uh, Billy Bird is an out-and-out -out boxer, you know, he's class. Um, <clears throat> it's not to say he doesn't punch, because he does. Um, he, has got, he has got a punch on him, but he's a boxer and a classic one like that. And back to William Ways, which is the main thing. Back to William Ways, yeah. Um, Zafer Morris, unfortunately. Zafer got the draw tonight. I thought he was unlucky to get the draw. I thought he deserved the win. Just, I thought the guy nicked around and... Um, but, you know, that's boxing, isn't it? It's how the, how the referee sees it at the end of the day. When you've got one man scoring, it doesn't matter what people in the hall think. I thought he was unlucky to get the draw, but I wouldn't argue about it. Um, but Zathan, listen, what a kid, you know. It's his dream to be a professional boxer. And, you know, not only has he applied himself, he, he trains religiously, you know, and trains hard. He wants it. He's living his dream. He's got, you know, a house full of fans out there. Yeah. So, you, you know, just, you can't help but be swept away with the, with the whole yeah. Z-Man thing, you know, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And he's, he's one of them ones, like you say, he's living the dream. Living um, the dream. Yeah, and even with a drawer, it's, it's only going to fuel him now and we'll see him back again. See him back again, he'll be back on the next show, he'll bounce back and, and he'll, he'll, you know, get back to winning ways. I have no doubt, you know, but... Just some tough, tricky little customer. Joe, Joe the Hitman Hearn, as I've sort of. Joe the Hitman him. Hearn, wow. Um, where well. did you find his opponent? <laughs> Listen, that was one tough cookie because Joe hit him with everything. You know, I think the only thing he didn't do is reach out the ring, get a chair, and hit him <laughs> over the head with it. Um, how that kid lasted six rounds like that, you know, Joe Nee stopped him in the fourth, obviously, um, the bell saved him. But he recovered, he come out, he was actually giving some back. You know, it wasn't all one-way traffic, which is uh, fantastic. I mean, it was a great crap loose yeah. fight, you know, but I've uh, got to take my hat off to that yeah, kid. Yeah. One tough cookie. Um, and then on to the main event, the, 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 the reason it shows here. The return, the, of, Sam the return Sexton. of Sam Sexton. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, again, we didn't pick an easy opponent. Um, no. We'd seen that guy before. Um, I saw him box down uh, Dominic Accolade in uh, your course. I knew he was tough and he can box a bit, 
you know. Um, so it was going to be always going to be a tough first fight back. But you know, Sam's a, a former Commonwealth champion. Um, he deserves to be where he is in in terms of ratings. He's been inactive. inactive. <clears throat> so we needed a good test for him, and that was certainly a good test. Another another great crowd pleasing fight. His opponent, but uh, me and Sam have spoken. Dillian White is someone that Sam has mentioned. That if the opportunity was to arise, his opponent's been in with Dillian White, and um, well, listen, it, it was very similar. Outcomes, very very so. similar, very similar, and uh, Sam belongs up there in the top echelons of British heavyweights. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Um, Dylan White's got his hands full with a, a certain Mr. Joshua, uh, Anthony Joshua, in uh, I think it's the 12th of December. Think, yeah. So obviously we've got to wait and see what, what the result of that is. Um, but Sam, listen, it's first fight back. Simple as that. So we're just going to take it. He belongs, as I say, up, up with the, the, the sort of top 10 heavyweights in the, in the country. Um, Sam fight anybody, simple as that, so, yeah, you know, yeah. and there's a few heavyweights out there that wouldn't want to fight Sam Sexton.